Hi. <clears throat> Check it out, guys. I'm on vacation. But guess what? The grind doesn't stop. What better thing to do on your days off than keep working? And that's what I'm all about. The grind. The mindset to move forth and build my business. Sounds like I'm about to talk about another business guru, man, but I'm not. We're moving back to the reality TV. Hi, happy Monday. Guys, before we start, can we just one, two, punch the subscribe button on this channel, maybe even the second channel videos. It's growing and no one's subscribing. Very cool, guys. Thanks a lot. I think we also have like maybe a couple smalls and mediums left in the merch so i'm gonna put them up and probably throw a little discount on them so check out nickisnotgreen.com and maybe pick up the last few for me so i don't have to worry about having those in my basement anymore thank you you guys remember i want to marry harry i mean we watched the whole entire season on stream i did a video about it and it was about this white English man who dyed his hair red and pretended to be royalty and tricked a bunch of girls into trusting him and being vulnerable with him. And then at the end of the day, he picked one of them. And despite her horror to the fact that apparently she didn't know this guy for probably a couple months, she still said, eh, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll still date you. And despite how absurd that show is, there are so many others out there that I want to explore. Today is going to be a little bit of a different take on The Bachelor. You guys know The Bachelor. One normal, everyday, very hot person goes on a TV show to find love. But instead of a very normal hot person, today we're going to be talking about Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav is an American rapper, hype man, and television personality. He co-founded the rap group Public Enemy in 1985, where he was known especially for his yells of, yeah, boy, decided after he broke it off with his ex-girlfriend he would jump on a show and be his own bachelor and i decided i'm gonna watch the first episode i'll probably watch the rest on stream after so you know tune in if you want to keep up with it but i say let's jump into the first episode let's see what flavor flav has in store for us inside this hollywood mansion 20 women have gathered because they all have one thing in common. This is the first issue with a show like this, is when you bring people on specifically to meet Flavor Flav, they're not going to find love with some random normal person. They're trying to, you know, get it on with a celebrity who's got a lot of money in a big mansion. But hey, whoever said there was anything wrong with that? I didn't. I didn't say that. Guys, I didn't say that. Guys? I didn't say that. I'm not the kind of girl who waits for the guy to come over to me. If I want to get a guy's attention, I'll get it. <laughs> if I want to get a guy's attention, I'll get it. Which is why I decided to go on this television show where I otherwise wouldn't be able to meet the guy. But I will get his attention. I just had to sign up for this show first. I was just going over the last cut of the video that Joe sent to me, my editor, and I realized that they play this clip in reverse in this girl's hair in the top right. Just, come, just crawls up her arm. It just crawls right up her arm because they play the footage in reverse. It's so weird. Why would they do that? Very big clock. It, another clock on the wall. I, I'm sensing a theme. And he's got this big dude behind him <laughs> holding up the tails of his long uh, pink suit. They acted like they didn't know who was gonna come through the door before he came through. I guess I'd be surprised too if a man in a bright pink suit with a gigantic clock on his chest and a bouquet of flowers as tall as himself busted through the door. Man, I just want to be famous enough one day where I could just chant my own name like I'm a Pokemon. The way that man walks through the door. Flavor, flavor. And then they start playing a song that just says his name. You can't pretend like you're you're goofing on him. That's awesome. I'm Flavor Flav. And me, I'm known as the greatest hype man in the music business. Okay, so this is his ex. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. That doesn't seem right. Hey yo, I got fame and fortune. I got rare valuable works of art. And I got a mad domestic stand. So Big Rick, that's Flav's uh, body man. He's sort of like the Kingsley of uh, Flavor of Love. Kingsley was a very held back, put together old British man who had a lot of class. And Big Rick has a lot of those same personalities, I'd say. <laughs> I got limos! I got limos! I got all of the finest things in life! 
He sounded like he was listing off the things he had. He was like, I got limos. I got limos. And I got all the finest things in life. The three, the three things you need. I got a nice big mansion. None of these things means nerd. Hello? 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 Without a woman to spend it with. I want to find somebody that I want to sh- what is with the Viking cap that he's wearing everywhere? I, I love it. Me and Bridget is still friends, but she's married. Romantically, we're over. Done. Because she's somebody's wife. Okay, <laughs> is this a thing? Smoking cigarettes between someone's toes? If it's a thing, I want no part of it. I'm already not a, a cigarette man, but... Through the toes? Really? I ever got married. I don't want nobody messing with my wife. <laughs> Word. I wouldn't want anyone goofing around with my wife. <laughs> Am I right? You wouldn't want anyone goofing around with your wife, right? Sometimes Flavor Flav gets lonely. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take 20 girls and I'm going to put them to the test. I'm going to see which one of these girls love Flavor Flav the best. He seems like he's straining or something when he talks. He's like, I'm going to take 20 girls. And I'm going to put them to the test. Also, I don't like the phrase put up put them to the test when you're talking about women you're trying to date i'm not flavor flavor i guess he can kind of say whatever he wants i know y'all heard of that show called a bachelor flavor flavor the black i am a hopeless romantic i love flavor flavor's personality his humor and his charm it's the craziest feeling and it's true and it happens so she believes in love at first sight and she believes that when she saw flavor flav bust through the doors in his pink suit that she looked at him and she said wow i am in love it's the craziest feeling but when that man jumped through with his gigantic clock bigger than his own head i saw myself in the wedding dress i heard you've been a really bad boy i might i might have to reverse the charges and use that on you being an only child i grew up thinking What's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine. I don't really know how to share. Because apparently if you're an only child, you're just not very generous with, with anything. I never liked only children. Sorry if anyone who watches me is an only child, but you should probably back out now because there's a lot of only child slander on this channel. If you see any only children in the comment section, you just berate them. For legal YouTube reasons, that was a joke. Please don't harass people. Don't do it, guys. I've been a fan of Flaves since the first time I saw him. And he let me know that it was okay to be loud and to be boisterous and to be full of life. Things got emotional so fast. She's like, I'm a day one fan. And he changed everything about my life. Nothing is the same ever since Flav taught me how to be myself. I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. You have such a big clock. Flav sort of reminds me of my dad because they're both like clowns. Okay, yeesh. I don't know about that, but I mean, yeah, you're right, but but jeez. Flav has gold teeth. So is my dad. Aww. They're both clowns with gold teeth. I want to marry him. He's the perfect man. And I just believe that Flav's gonna like look inside my eyes and like see my big heart and be like, ooh, shout it. Whenever I see a girl that I truly believe has a good heart inside of her and is just truly a good person, I go, ooh. Shade. Also, is that really the reason you came on the show? Because you you believe he's a good person inside? I feel like you could say that about anybody. I mean, I like Flavor Flav, but if I was on the dating show, I don't think I'd pretend that I'm there, you know, because I think he might be a good person. I'd pretend I'm there because he's Flavor Flav. Hey, how you doing, shorty? I like you. Yeah, man, word up, man. I like the big tall ones. I like the big tall ones. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. No. Cool. Yeah. No, that's cool. I told my parents about being on the show and they said, oh no, that I tried to explain that Flavor Flav is no longer an addict and he's may or may not be taking care of his children. I don't know. Guys, it's okay. I, I know what you think about Flavor Flav, but he's no longer an addict. He may or may not be taking care of his children. I'm not sure if he's responsible for that. So why bring up that he may or may not be taking care of his children. I would leave that part out, maybe, just so they're not worried about it. I don't know. You know, the object of this whole joint is gotta find the right girl for me, you know what I mean? But you know what? I only can keep one of y'all, so... So listen. I'm only gonna be able to keep one of you guys. Aww, he's so dreamy. I plan to win Flav's heart. In order for that to happen with 20 other women, there's no way I'm gonna play fair. 
narrow way. You're gonna kill one of them? What, what does that mean? You don't even know the rules yet. What could you possibly do that wouldn't be fair at this point? I think she's gonna kill one of the women. I told these girls, go upstairs, take a look around the house, find you a spot. Why don't y'all come over here with me and find yourself a room? <laughs> So does Flavor Flav just have like a bunch of twin beds in his house or is this not his house? Does that, I don't know if this is his real house. 20 girls, but 15 beds. 20 girls, but 15 beds. Those are the number of fingers you put up when you're talking about the numbers 20 and 15. There was only 15 beds in the house. And when we all kind of did the math and we knew that five of us would be going home tonight. We ran the numbers. No, yeah, we there were, there were 20 of us and there were 15 beds and so we just decided to run the numbers and it ended up being that there would probably be five people going on. I'm here for him. And if I'm here for him and you're here for him too, you better watch out. There's always someone in these shows that is like, I'm here for Prince Harry and no one's gonna stop me. Yeah, except for the guy who you're trying to get to. It's not like Survivor where you're just like, I'm gonna brute force my way to the end. The guy has to like you. It's not just the most skillful person in the show. He could just not like you very much. Right? Come with me this way, please. All right, y'all, check this out. Your man Flay, he is not good with names at all. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is give each one of y'all a nickname so that way I can remember it. And the reason why I picked nicknames is because I knew I wouldn't remember their real names. And nicknames, I might can remember easier. How many women will it take before he says something offensive? I'm gonna say the fifth girl is going to be an offensive one. How you doing, baby? All right, honey buns, be nice. Check this out, I heard what oysters do for a man. For a man and a woman. That's right. Am I too young? What, what is going on? Is he talking about pearls? What are you gonna call me? Oyster. Oyster! Oh, no. oyster. Oh, you can't call me oyster. Don't tell no. me what I can do. She was so excited, and then he's like, I'm gonna call you oyster. That's like an awful nickname. That's something that the bullies would call you in high school. Oyster? But when I was putting the name tags on the girls, my hands were somewhat doing a little traveling. You like apples? I love apples. Easy, Flavor Flav. Easy. You can't just grope some women because you decided to give them nicknames. Got the cherries. That's right. Nice to meet you. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Nice too. name too, Cherry. Yeah, I'm gonna meet you. I'm gonna really meet you. Dig <laughs> Rick is joining in on the fun. I don't know how I feel about this. Are you gonna be peaches? Word up. I know you ain't got much room. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of room. All right. Oh, Thanks. Geez. That's really kind of. Mm. Flavor Flav, easy, easy on the ladies. Oh my gosh. He needs to calm down for a second. It's the first day. You're a nice gent. He's like a little boy, just like in a grown man's body. I'm a feisty little Georgia peach. He already gave my name away, Peaches, so That's I hope right. you got something better for me. Yeah. Georgia. Wow, he is a poet. How did he come up with it? How did he do it? Uh, hi, baby. Hi, Mr. Flavor. She's like, hi, Mr. Flavor. How is it going? I made you a gift. Yo! I wanted to give Flav something interesting, something that I thought none of the other girls would think of or would be able to do. So I gave him a t-shirt with a picture of me. It'll tell him that, hey, you know, I'm a model. Serious? Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Flavor, what are you doing? I feel like he's gonna look up from the pen and be like, Get off my show. No, get out of here now. Um, 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 um. Listen, honey, welcome to the show. I've given everyone a nickname and you're the last one. Yeah, I'm so excited. You're kind of like the master of names. Like you've been coming up with names this whole time. Yep, every single one of them. I gave a name to every single one of them. Okay, so what do you think? What, what would my name be? Yep, I got the perfect name for you. Trust me, I'm looking at you right now. Yep. You're stalling, aren't you? Stalling? You think I'm stalling? Yeah. No, it... Dude, I, did you see me back there? I was coming up with a name off the top of the head for every single person, and you think I would stall? You easily come up with them, and you don't know what to call me specifically. I've already got it right here. You just gotta let it leave my lips. Yeah, okay, go. No, you're not, because you keep interrupting me. No, I'm not. Keep, yeah, you are. Okay, this is the last thing I'm saying. And start. Okay. 
Okay, you'll give me the time? Okay, well, let me say it. Go on. You gotta go. What? Why would I get... You haven't even voted anyone off. You're just gonna kick me off before you even give me a name? Yeah, no. You gotta, you gotta leave the show. I'm sorry. What? It's because you couldn't come up with a name, isn't it? No, it's not about the name or anything. I'm not. You're embarrassed because you couldn't come up with a name. And that's why you're kicking me off the show. Cameraman? Is that why he's kicking off the show? Yeah, that's exactly why you're kicking me off the show. I can come up with a name. I had the name. I'm just saying you have to leave the show because I don't like you that much. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. Um, um, uh, all right, okay. check this out. Um, why are they leaving in like a minute of him trying to figure out what to call this girl? Just got to the part where he figures out her name. Like scuba diving? <laughs> shells. I'm giving you the name you. Shells. Everyone knows that if Flavor doesn't give you a name, you're in trouble. Hi, I'm your host. Welcome. After I gave the girls nicknames. One of their names is just New York. They just kept that out because he just called her New York. This one is also just pumpkin without the P in the middle. This one's just hottie, goldie, Miss Ladin, smoky. Flavor <laughs> Flav, one of the luckiest men alive right now. So, um. Anyone who talks in the third person, I would, you know, keep an eye out because they're up to no good. I'll say that much. They're up to no good. Flavor Flav, one of the luckiest men alive right now. So, um, tell me about yourself. What's going on with you? He was so goofy and then he got he got serious so fast. Man, Flavor Flav's having the time of his life in this show. So what was the first uh, you know, emotional attachment you've had to another man? And why did it go wrong? New York. She just comes off incredibly fake. So hopefully he catches on to that sooner or later. I don't know if Flavor Flav seems like the kind of guy to be like, I'm kicking her off the show because she seems a little too fake. She's not really genuine enough. I want someone really down to earth and homey. So what do you like to do? I like to paint. I like to write. I do like to masturbate. The girls and I were talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is so goofy, but also, why did he sound like he was in pain? What's going on here? I don't know how I feel about this whole interaction. She says she likes to masturbate, and he's like, Gah! <laughs> I'm kind of goofy and weird. Like, I'm. I don't know if he likes goofy and weird. I mean, I know he's goofy and weird, but goofy and weird and goofy and weird, like, cancels each other out. I'm not like the other kids at school. I'm sort of goofy and weird, you know? He is goofy and weird, but he's a different kind of goofy and weird, though, you know? She's kind of, like, awkward and, like, deadpan, and he's very boisterous and... <laughs> There's times when I do that I ain't gonna lie. Man, I'll turn on the porno flick in a minute. What do you say when you're doing it? I just be quiet and watch the movie. <laughs> what does he say when he's masturbating? Are people supposed to be talking during that? I'm hoping he sees through all the fake and all the naked girls and all these sexual innuendo. I'm hoping he sees through that. Why does she get so emotional every time? Oh my gosh. Because... Because ever since I was little, Flavor Flav taught me to be a woman who's not afraid to put herself out there. And that's why I'm going up behind him and groping him while he's touching this woman. We just chat a bit in the spring. No problem. Y'all chat. I loved him before I came. And that's why I'm here. Those are the kind of people you gotta watch out for. Okay, so it's a whole lot of partying, a whole lot of the blah, blah, blah. We're gonna skip on by and get to the good stuff. The voting. I want to see who gets voted off here. Of course, yeah, the I am. Standing here in front of all of these clocks for my first time and I knew that five girls had to go home. It kind of bothered me, but then again, it ain't bother me. <laughs> but it did kind of bother me though. It's the most confusing man I've ever seen. What is going on with this guy? Yo, Rick. Yes, sir. This is one of the hardest parts. I was like, which one am I going? Why is he eating during the confessional? Wanna get rid of her? Okay. Wanna get rid of her? Alright. Get rid of her, that's three. You can hear him itching his butt into the mic. This is the weirdest way I've seen someone pick people on a reality TV show. But I kinda love it. All of y'all are beautiful, but all of y'all can't stay. We know that. Yeah. Whoever get a clock, you know what time it is. Whoever don't get a clock, that means your time is up. I wish I could keep them all, but obviously I can't. 
There's a lot of feelings going to be hurt. I do love the clock theme. I really love a lot of what this show does, to be honest. It kind of takes the very formal and, you know, formulaic rules that The Bachelor seems to put up and just, like, breaks them down and says, there are no rules. It's just what Flavor Flav says. Oh, the roses are clocks? Okay, the roses are clocks. He's going to vote them out by just kind of pointing at them, and then Rick's going to, under his breath, go, uh-huh. No, yeah, that, that works with me. Fifteen of y'all get to stay with me. Five don't get to stay. He's going to get 15 clocks out, so I'm skipping to the very end. I want to see who gets out. Yo, Pumpkin, where you at? Pumpkin. They gave her too much screen time in the first episode to kick Pumpkin out. Out of everybody, it's got to be Pumpkin. I don't know who's going home. I'm kind of worried about what's going to happen. Yo, Goldie, come get this. <laughs> And all the girls that don't have clocks, thanks, man. And if there's no hard feelings, come say goodbye to me. I really wanted it, but I don't know what Flav didn't like about me. I like how they switched from her nickname over to her real name. Like, you lost that crown that you get once you get kicked off the show. I'm confused, upset, I'm surprised. I thought I made a connection with them. God bless you. I just don't understand. I don't deserve it. I'm like, way better than half those chicks that he kept here and i just am so upset it's okay cherry uh it's literally flavor flav and it's the first episode i don't think you have much to worry about i don't know if anything would have happened if you did win flavor. one big cheers for the ladies who made it definitely i'm gonna have fun with this one folks he's falling asleep Whoa, oh, boy, y'all seen that? <laughs> y'all seen Are you that? Going to sleep on I'll tell you oh, something. <laughs> what am I watching? Flavor, Flav. That was Flavor of Love. What a show. These are my thoughts. Listen, can you take this show seriously in any world? No. But is that the point of the show? Yeah, I think so. I think it's beautiful what they've done to the dating show genre where not everything is so serious, not everything is so formulaic and formal. Flavor Flav breaks all the rules and puts an experimental twist on your classic Bachelor dating show, and I love that. I think it's gonna be a fun time. I'm probably gonna rewatch the first episode and watch the rest of the episodes with the chatters at twitch.tv slash Nick Not Green, so you should come by and watch that. And I think that's it for Flavor of Love today. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit subscribe and ring that freaking bell. Ring it. Woo! Yep. Ring the bell. You know what it is, at Nick is not green. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Patreon.com slash Nick is not green. Check out the stickers of the month. This week's Gamer of the Week is My Dog is Cute, because they bought my merch. If you want to be the next Gamer of the Week, just comment on the video down below. And maybe you should buy the merch too. There's like very few left. I want to get them out of my basement. Well, I guess my time is up when I, while I look at this big clock I have. So I will see you next week. Bye. Tier 3 patron shout out takes too long and no one watches it so let's just shout out some special patrons uh, Sarah Viola Thea Tillman yeah I see peanut butter Jacob Eden Callum Holland Killjoy Libby Less uh, yeah Tokyo 6 David Lee Michael Looney Leaf Leham Make it to the tier one and two patrons. Have a good week.